Right, welcome back to Two Casa Style. We are well into 2014, and we're wanting to keep the healthy living going and keep those resolutions on track. So we are here now with Andrew Bustos from the storehouse and Army Sergeant Zach Middlestadt, who recently returned from service in Afghanistan. Sir, thank you so much for your service to hey, our country. Thank you for having me. And thank you for being on style. I got to tell you, this smells incredible, Andrew. <laughs> you come into this kitchen, it, magic happens. <laughs> Thanks so a lot, lot of Jeff. people go to the storehouse, they're, they're going to get food, but you guys go a step further than just providing the food. You teach them how to prepare it so it's healthy for their whole family. That's correct. What we're trying to do is really promote a healthy way of living in 2014. Um, so we take that, that just that extra step to how teach our customers and everybody at home how to maximize the nutritional value of everything, simple products at home, products we mm -hmm. distribute at the storehouse. Mm -hmm. That's great. And, you know, and a lot of people don't know that. You yeah. know, they'll buy it and they'll think, we're going to do something simple. So we've got a pretty simple recipe that we're making mm -hmm. here that is incredibly healthy. You've got a lot of power foods in this, got lean protein going on. Correct. So what, what are we making here today, Chef? Today we're making some uh, pasta primavera. Um, this is loaded with boneless, skinless chicken breast, very healthy for muscle and brain development. And we got some onions, some bell peppers, which is high in vitamin C and A, some whole cloves of roasted garlic, which boosts your immune system, again, high in protein and calcium. Mm -hmm. And we, um, zucchini and squash, which is, of course, a good source of fiber, protein. Mm -hmm. But yet it's low in uh, saturated fat and cholesterol, which mm -hmm. you always want to be aware of, uh, especially for your kids, you know, right. for the brain and muscle development right. and stuff like that. And then we got some superfood, as I call mm -hmm. it, the kale, yep. high in vitamin C. See tons of vitamin A, mm -hmm. uh, calcium, B6. I mean, it gives that freshness uh, to your dish that you know people just love. That's fantastic. So, yeah. so we're we're grilling up the chicken right now. So you just take the the chicken breast. Yeah, saute right. up some chicken, onions, uh, get it to a nice caramelized point. It gives it that smokiness, you know, a little bit of sweetness to it as well. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I like to pre uh, pre roast my garlic. Little tip at home, if you just cook a little bit of, of, of garlic like this, reserve your oil and everything you're cooking from then on, just put a little spoonful of that oil into it. Oh, wow. It, okay. Rather than just vegetable oil or not. Just right. adds a little extra level of flavor. Okay. So, yeah, so. So we just start mixing all of these guys Just start in. mixing it up, saute it up. And okay. remember, like we talked about on the last segment, you don't have to kill your food. Don't overcook your vegetables. Right. You want them a little al dente, nice to the bite. Mm -hmm. And plus, it preserves a lot of those vitamins and minerals that are key to growing. And see, that's one thing, you know, in terms of killing the food, I, I tend to kill my chicken. Yeah. You know, I tend to overcook <laughs> the chicken because we're, we're scared of, you know, it's, you want to make sure that it's well cooked. So Correct. what's a quick tip to make sure that, that our chicken is done? Well, a quick, t you know, something that we use in the industry, we use our hand test, the firmness. But I would always suggest to get a nice little thermometer here. Mm -hmm. This one has all the guidelines on it on what your, oh, the great. temperatures of your meat should be. Mm -hmm. You know, 135 and above for your chicken would be perfect. You keep it right around 140, you're going to have a nice tender piece of meat. Great. So. Okay. Now, um, I want to talk, uh, Sergeant, you had just recently returned and you also, you used the storehouse. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your experience, first of all, um, with, with what they provide to you and maybe some of the lessons um, in terms of the nutrition. I'm assuming you being a man in the military, you take very good care of yourself. So this is really I important did. stuff for you and your family. I mean. Yes. Uh, the storehouse is a very good place for that supports veterans as well for food, clothing, nutrition, just everything that's good out there. And also, uh, for everybody out there, go ahead. If you go on Facebook, too, you have Adam's Wounded Warrior, buddy. Mm -hmm. It actually helps out with the veterans as well to help get them a help dog. Yeah, service help dog. Service like dog. That. Yeah, yep. yeah so. which is very, very important. You know, you guys give so much to our country. Anything and everything that we can do to support you on your return home, right. we want to do. And, of course, the storehouse, you guys are all about supporting the community, which I think is great. But you can't do it alone, right? That's the correct. The storehouse needs needs help from the community to make the magic happen. We do. You know, we, we have a lot of great community partners, you know, uh, that help us in, in, in our fight against hunger and, and clothing the needy, uh, such as Boris and his team down at Interpreble Cultural Center for mm -hmm. the last three months. Uh, every dollar uh, of every meal, well, one dollar of every meal came to the storehouse. Mm -hmm. So we re they raised over 3,500 bucks for us. Wow. So if you have a business or something like that, we encourage you to get involved. Mm -hmm. But the biggest part is our community. They, mm -hmm. They're huge supporters of us. Bring a dollar down, clear out your pantry, clear out your closets and just bring them on down. Believe me, it stretches and it helps a lot. So we're looking for monetary donations, in-kind donations, and even also volunteer work. Is that right? That's correct. You know, we, we, our, the, our volunteers are heart and soul of our organization. We have over 5,000 registered volunteers, you know, maybe sometimes up to 20, 30 a day that come down and just wow. help take 
take people through the food court, assist them to their cars with the baskets of food, and help uh, sort out the, the donations that we get in the back. So That's great. Yeah, it's, it's a great uh, great way to be in touch with your community. That's fantastic. So. This is looking incredible. So where are we on, on, on cooking this, Chef? Well, right here, I just added the kale and a little bit of reduced uh, garlic cream. Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of like my thing. Uh, um, you always, you never want to overdo it on the pasta or the cream. Mm -hmm. Pasta is a great source of protein and, and a good source of vitamins and minerals that you need. Mm -hmm. Also, the cream, you know, provides the calcium, B6, etc., etc. Everything in moderation is healthy. Right. If you overdo it a little bit, it, that's when you know your your, your energy level kind of goes down and you're just not feeling it that day. Right. But if you, uh, what's good about this meal too, it's good for your kids for after school. Mm -hmm. um, it, leftover, all they have to do is pop a bowl in the microwave and there you go. Which is it's always ready to eat. great. Yeah. So. Parents at home, they know that all too well. Yeah. Making sure that our kids get that. And <laughs> you know, like you said, I really just want to highlight this. What's great is you know everything in moderation. We're talking about something that's an incredibly delicious dish. Correct. But at the same time, incredibly healthy. Yep. So this is really good stuff, folks. We will have information on our website at KRQE. Just click under the CASA tag, and we will have information about the storehouse and about what we're cooking today. That's and right. when we come back, we're diving into this yummy All goodness. All right. Sounds All right. Good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stick around, folks.